manages our chemical ascension. Man, it has been a while since we done seen Jean. And it's always a good time for the MILF librarian. To be honest though, the live 2D on the event screen, I really wish that the banners had it too. I just think it would add a bit of spice to them. Ooh, but I want this weapon though. The dialogues of the desert sages, a sumo weapon that a monster event. Well, I mean, Lisa's here, so it's not totally inaccurate, but it does make my eyebrows twitch a bit. Oh, it's you, cutie. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? Hello, book lady. I'm back from France. Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone. Oh, we're here to visit you, of course. <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Lisa, you 10 out of 10. Quit playing, boo-boo. Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait! You're actually busy? With work? That's not a sight you see every day. <laughs> You're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. Are you working at a research project? <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? Fun? But you said it was work. I feel like I'm being set up here. What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? Oh, you did not just wink. Oh, don't do that to me. It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. Is that a no, then? It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together. And you would, of course, be generously rewarded. But if you don't want to... I'm all ears. I need that staff. As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Well, maybe you wouldn't be if our beta wasn't such a loner. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day, so Jean thought I was the best person for the job. I don't know, Lisa. Something seems a little shady about making witch potions for people. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use, and the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. What the hell are you saying? We use the crafting table like every day. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stone! Smart idea, Lisa! Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks? The Traveler. The most accomplished that I'm not even from here. When I was at the academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. God dang it, man. It's just something about Lisa that's just like effortlessly rizzing me. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. I'm always down for a bit of a challenge. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. Thank you, Book Milf. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. 
We'll finish our discussion after we get there. I want my staff, and I want it now. <sighs> this is the shop. Oh, when did all this get here? Wow, looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? <laughs> it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. But where the hell are they? They're gone. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. Oh, that's a whole witch cauldron. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The Knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? Wait a minute, do we get to keep this? Your alchemical journey has begun. Use your ingredients and a little inspiration to make some fresh new concoctions. Basic materials. Thank you, Book Mill. Place ingredients and cover more area to increase the tuning rate for this concoction. When the tuning rate reaches 100% or higher, you can concoct the potion and receive the finished product. Okay, do I just put anything in here? Oh, I have to completely fill in the area to get 100%. Okay. Wait a minute, is purple bad? Am I overdoing it? I really want to find a way to get 100%. Everything seems to make it go over that, though. Bare bones basic bottle. Well then. I. Why do I feel like I'm a failure? You will initially have one chance to concoct a potion each operation cycle. By using more ingredients when concocting a potion, you gain more alchemy level experience and potion ingredient experience. There is a chance to create an even stronger potion. Make good use of your opportunities to concoct potions. Oh, I think it's okay to get it higher than 100 then. Ooh, looks like you finished your potion. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. It's only a rarity green. Is this really gonna sell anything though? Revenue for this cycle. Pay close attention to the financial reports to see which potions are selling better. That way we can figure out just which potions are the most in demand. Um, but which? I don't see nothing. Maybe I should make more than just one potion. Oh, seems like everything is going well. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Not a bad start at all. As for what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, that sounds kinda hard. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. Damn, Lisa, you work in overtime today. Good Hunter is coming up with new dishes for ventures who love battling. The owner of Monster Flower Shop is looking to have their fresh flowers grow more lushly and extend the time they're in bloom. I'm sorry, I just can't hear the word bloom without thinking about Nilu. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Just put a bunch of dendro with it. Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. All right, cutie. Why don't you get started? Different cultivation areas can be assigned ingredients separately. After a certain number of operation cycles, your ingredients will mature and can be harvested. Once you complete this harvest, the cultivation area will automatically cultivate the previously selected ingredients. The cultivation progress of ingredients will not be saved if you change the ingredient assigned to the cultivation area. All I got from that is that things grow. After your alchemy level increases, you can unlock more cultivatable ingredients. You will also be able to go to the Knights of Avodia support staff to expend the funds that expand the cultivation area, allowing you to cultivate more ingredients at the same time. Okay, just harvest all. Level 1. Yeah, I'm gonna need some better materials in this. Okay, let's get some sunsetias. No, these are chilies. They're both red, okay? Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Ah, uh, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. But what about you? Yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Wait a minute, so you just gonna leave? Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. Lisa, you betrayed me. Ah, uh, Paimon knew this would happen. Greetings, honorary knight. Greetings, Paimon. 
My name is Breda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and her loyal attendant. Yes, yes. Hello, Frida. I'll try not to forget you tomorrow. Wow, Paimon's fame is really spreading across the land! <laughs> um, one small correction, though. Paimon's her companion, not her attendant. I mean, honestly, what's the difference at this point, though? <sighs> My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. It's just like something out of a novel. You're practically legends at this point. I'm I'm a bit jealous, actually. Yeah, everybody recognizing that protagonist liturgy. I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure, like one of those knights you read about in stories. <sighs> Seems like a really fun life. It's not actually y'all fun in games. Yeah, the Japanese almost killed me. I bet. The knights in the stories are always running into all sorts of danger. Anyway, we've got some prep work to wrap up, right? My orders from the Acting Grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Purchase supplies. You're in luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. Kind of surprised I can't just use my own Mora here. Well, somebody would probably write if we had to, though. Domain expansion. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the arts are also cute, man. The Hoyo art department always be bussin'. Use your operations handbook to actively end the current operation cycle. Resting on Lisa's chair can also have the same result. Lisa's chair, you say? I'm listening. You can view the completion status of your various tasks in the current cycle. Click the icons that track your objectives. When certain conditions have been met, you can spend funds to improve your final potion products. Enhanced potions can be sold for a higher price and the potion's efficacy or special characteristics will not change. God dang it, man. <laughs> when placing ingredients, you can cause the potion to gain efficacy values of five different types, including constitution and so on. When you finish concocting a potion, the efficacy value that is highest will determine the potion's type and grade. There are four different potion grades, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and special, and this is the primary determinant of the sale price. Better potions, better money. The efficacy value that was not sufficient to reach the next potion grade will be converted to potion level of plus zero to plus ten, increasing the sale price of the potion. Increasing the turning rate to over 100% using a beautiful battle or receiving a lucky bonus can all increase the potion level. I kind of want to see if I can just complete the area. I think that might give me something good, but I got to keep the items somewhat balanced, I think. All right, let me try that. It's all finished now. Oh, it's it's a, another bare bones basic, but it's red. Lisa, why aren't you helping me? Oh, I leveled up though. Increase the efficacy provided by all ingredients. Oh, maybe I just get better at this by practicing. Oh. So the more different potions I make, I can see which ones are gonna sell better. The marker news, battling and growing. Oh, so strength is battling, then which one is growing then? Oh, I can't craft anymore. I'm just gonna sit on Lisa to pass the time. Hee hee, the sales figures are looking pretty good. Let's keep it up and we can make this a runaway success. Oh, so I guess I did it right then. Wait a minute, the strength potion sold less than the constitution one, but it said that the strength one was more valuable. Man, to hell with the market. Okay, it's still more battling and more growing. Oh, Constitution is a raid up then. So all the bottles do the same thing. I just pick which one I like the best. I have to go with the chunky cat bottle. I have to. I need that cat. I need it. Gimme. Praise me, Diota. Different ingredients also have 10 different characteristics, including warm, endurance, and so on. And two or more of the corresponding ingredients are added. The potion may also gain this characteristic. Initially, potions can have up to two characteristics. Okay. Uh, I don't remember which one was the ones that I needed, though. Okay, I can just check here. Just make blue and orange. Oh, God. You can rotate, but you can't flip. You know, this makes me a lot angrier than it should. Okay. 145%. Oh, give me my chunky bottle. Yes. Oh, wait, the bare bones was the bottle I was using. It wasn't about the potion. It's okay, Lisa. I'm not a lost cause after all. I mean, my potions are still level two, but I'm a work in progress, okay? Ooh, level three. So should I just make a whole bunch of the con and strength one? Like, I feel like it would make these other two obsolete. Oh, 
Never mind. I can only craft once, apparently. It's not looking good, Jean. And it's back to sit on Lisa we go. You're doing a good job, Lisa. Thank you. The cat potion made like over twice as much as the red one. Woohoo! Our sales this time were through the roof. We made a fortune. What is this wee business? You're just my attendant. Oh, damn. The box is getting bigger. Damn, I'm one box away from filling it up. I'm just gonna accept defeat. Dude, why would I choose anything other than the chunky comp bottle? Like, why does the option for the first one even exist? now. Level 4. If the two highest efficacy values are of the same grade and reach a certain standard, a combination potion will be produced. A combination potion will have two types of efficacy, and though the sale price will not increase, it can more easily satisfy different market demands, increasing sales volume. So no more money, but somehow still good? I don't understand commerce. Oh, I can only have one of each potion. Aw, oh, damn. Man, just let me go on ahead and drink this myself. I ain't gonna hurt nobody. Body. Ooh, I'm gonna buy the heart bottle because I heart you. Please cut that out. Lisa, it's sitting time. Oh no, different potions. Exceedingly speedy and decipher. I don't remember if I got ingredients for this. Oh, but I got a whole lot of reward. No, I got a whole lot of that though. Thank you. Once you've mastered the advanced technique of stacking ingredients, each time you concoct a potion, there will be squares on which ingredients may be stacked within the cauldron. As your alchemy level increases, the number of stackable squares will increase. So more box, more power. You know what? I agree in more ways than one. Oh, they can go on top of each other. I didn't know that. Oh, the stackable slots. I see. I see. All right, I'm done with this one. I got a full box. And you know what? We're going to do some love this time. I need to let Lisa know that I appreciate her chair service. Beginner dexterity and charisma potion. Damn, I need one of those myself. Oh, Lisa. Oh, Sarah. Hello there, honorary knight. I've heard you're helping Miss Lisa out with running the knight's alchemy shop. The manager says that we're now colleagues in business here in Mondstadt. Wait, really? Wait, aren't you the food lady? Feed me. We'd like to thank you for your frequent patronage and loyalty as a customer of Good Hunter by it's offering you these on. funds We're to help support the expansion of your alchemy shop's operation and earn more revenue, unlocking even more happy customers to reap the benefits the shop provides. Please accept these funds and we wish you every success. Oh, free money. Well, that ain't me, but I can't argue with that now. Great job, cuties. Jeans asked their subordinates to provide us with additional- Damn, even more money. God dang. Oh, damn it. I made the wrong potions. I needed strength and dexterity. I mean, I'm not going to tell nobody. I'm going to keep those funds. Level six alchemy. <gasps> it's a blue potion now. Oh. Damn, I'm getting flashbacks to when I got that first three-star artifact, man. Everything makes me feel old now. There we go. We're going to make some money now. We got two hearts and a cat. Lisa, come, come. Ooh, even bigger cauldron. And the final domain expansion. I got everything now. Well, except the last two cauldrons. Damn, those things are expensive. 20 and 40k. You might as well just make me an honorary witch after this. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yo, what up, big doe? It's been a while. Massa Eula, the forsaken one. Whoa. Wait, you two know each other? Didn't expect to see you two together. <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Wait, Dornman Port? Isn't that where Mona's from that we just haven't gotten yet? Wow, you are taking the initiative and making friends? Did I not hear that right? The world is exploding. <clears throat> Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. I was just being hospitable, as is expected of a knight. Huh? Oh, I thought we were getting along pretty well. You're telling me you were just being polite? Oh, don't hurt her feelings, Eula. Social skills, they are lacking. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just thought that, after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. You're still beating yourself up about that? Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. Misunderstanding? What happened? Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So I had to resort to, uh, a more 
hands on way of getting them to calm down. Yeah, sometimes you gotta put them fingers on them. Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and when she walked in, oh, it wasn't a pretty sight. I should probably take it from here. Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port, so we decided to step up our patrols in the area. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before. And they were sailors. My suspicions were raised, so I asked their captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. Way to start a friendship, mistaken for a drug dealer. Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person, and told me to check with the port authorities myself. I insisted that she should accompany me there, and, well, you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. Hey, you were, you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I'd had a few too many, and... Anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, and that was that. Misunderstanding resolved. Beta, you could have been arrested. I felt bad, though, so I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Once we got to talking, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. Ah, I meant to say earlier. Drop the captain and just call me Beto. There's no need for formalities between friends. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. Anyway, as for why we're here... I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. Man, the best monster girl is getting development. You love to see it. Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions you've been brewing up. Oh, so you hear from my concoctions. Since you came all this way, why don't you buy some to bring back with you? Mm, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. You mean alcohol? <sighs> Let me think. Oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Yeah, it's called a baseball bat. Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. It's just that uh, I have this friend... She doesn't lack for anything, and she eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza, or if she just has too many things on her mind. Wait, this friend you're talking about, you must mean... Yep. She's no stranger to rare and precious treasures, but I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. Wait, is she talking about Ning? We'll get started on that order for you right away! Great! Thanks for the help. We gotta make some NyQuil for the Chinese, I see. Special guests will sometimes drop by during an operation cycle. Concoct potions in accordance with their orders that you might be able to help them out. A potion with constitution or that displays relaxing characteristics. All right, I'll just give a constitution and strength one. Perfect. Looks like my gift is all set. Oh, thank God I got it right. Is it time for your return journey then? If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so it's probably time I headed back. Don't want to keep my crew waiting. Sightseeing. I get it. Because what? Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, Beto. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. On behalf of the Reconnaissance Company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. It's always a good day to help the best girl in Germany. Many thanks. It's rare to receive a gift so practical. Next time, I'll invite you and Eula to Liwa, and I'll bring that friend of mine. We'll treat you to a real feast. Yeah, Ning better be paying. Blanche, congratulations are in order. We're happy to hear that one of our biggest customers of Mondstadt General Goods is now also a colleague. Who the hell are you again? Let's look out for one another going forward. At Mondstadt, every store often helps each other out since being in business is it easy? Only by supporting each other can everyone create a healthy environment conducive to business, and we can all make a mountain of more together. Take this congratulatory gift. It's how we do things. You just give each other money? Well, damn. <laughs> I should have started this sooner. One last time, Lisa. Be my chair once more. Oh, artist's gift. But can I get the weapon? Oh my god, I can. Dialogues of the Desert Sages. Oh, it's so pretty. When the wielder performs healing, restores eight energy. Wait, what? What? Oh, it's an HP weapon, too. And it's a polar. 
arm. Damn, I was about to say this is perfect for Barbara, but I forgot it's a spear. Wait, but who is a polearm healer? Wait a minute, ninjas. I forgot the Chevy was an HP percent character. Oh, yes. Oh, no. I just want to see what it looks like when it's glowing. You have got to be kidding me. No, it can't be. Nobody look at this. I'm No, I'm not farming specters right now. To hell with that, man. I was having a perfectly good day until that. Oh, it gets all yellow and shiny. I know it's a sumu weapon, but for some reason it kind of reminds me of Celestia. Damn, the glowing actually kind of made it anti-drip for Chevy. I mean, I'm pretty sure she'll actually perform well with it, but at what cost? And all right, ninjas, it's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it for your ass, man. Subscribe to become one of my ninjas. Join to become one of my ampu, but I will see you in the next video. Ninjas out.